Hello. Yes. Empowering the voters of Kensington and Fairfield 2019. That will be my task in 2019, to empower the voters of Kensington and Fairfield, to make them understand the power lies within their hands, not the councillors they elect. The power lies within their hands, the voters. So the voter has to be empowered, right? He has to be made to understand and believe that he can change things as well, and he can also punish those right, by kicking them out of office for those responsible for destroying their once proud Labour white working class community, right, they can punish them, they can remove them. So my task of 2019 will be to empower the voters of Kensington and Fairfield. You see, attacking the refugees, asylum seekers, migrants, whatever you want to call them, doesn't always work, go our way. It doesn't always work and it doesn't always go our way. In fact, it can be counterproductive. And I'll give you an example. When I stood in Kensington and Fairfield, uh, May just gone, the last council elections, there was uh, an asylum seeker family, the Mukherjee family, that had sought asylum here in Britain and had uh, ended up in Kensington and Liverpool. And then during uh, the election, coincidence of course, that arrested detained somewhere down south, I'm not quite sure, y'all's I'm not. I'm not sure, I'm threatened with deportation when they'd done nothing wrong. They were signing on at the police station, they were abiding by all the rules and regulations and criteria uh, asylum seekers have to abide to. They were also members of various uh, charity groups and they were pillars of the community, so it was strange why they were arrested, detained and threatened with deportation. Then Luciana Berger, the MP uh, for that area, she raises the matter in Parliament. And then various other charities and mental health groups, MENCAP I think it was, they raised the issue of one of the uh, Mukherjee, uh, one of the young uh, Mukherjee sons, I think he was in his early 20s, he had mental health problems and uh, had various other issues. And so Mencap then got behind it. And then before you know it, they're then released and returned back to Kensington in Liverpool, like returning heroes. Now that was then used against me because I was attacking asylum seekers in the ward. Do you get me? That, that was no accident or coincidence that. That was done deliberately. So attacking the refugees, asylum seekers, my, it's not always the right way and it doesn't always work for us and it'll be counterproductive and used back against us, you see. You see, the voters understand what's happening in their community that by attacking the refugees, let's say as an example, without me naming them all, giving them all different titles, uh, by attacking the refugees, you're not changing anything. The voters know the refugees aren't going anywhere, so it's not within their power to change anything. But what is within their power to change things, if you empower them, is to remove those responsible for creating the mess in the first place, which is the councillors, the three Labour councillors. So I will be empowering the voters of Kensington and Fairfield 2019 that they have the power to remove those that have abandoned them and betrayed them. OK, thank you. Oh, on a final note. The pantomime and circus, hope not hates pantomime and circus, is not worth attacking anymore, right? It's running out of steam. It's changing the skies every month or two and whatever. The latest one, as I've said, is the uh, UK yellow vest. Then it'll be the democratic UK yellow vest. And there's another one in Sunderland, Sharon Binks. That's another setup. I mean, come on. What decent women would have anything to do with their, with their baseball cap? and tattoos all over the back. We need women of substance and, and greatness like Mary Whitehouse, Christ. They're the type of women we need leading a women's movement here in Britain. Not the underclass trash Sharon Binks working for Hope Not Hate. But anyway, anyway, I just thought I'd get that in. So this will be the end of the videos for 2018. And also come 2019, there'll be no more attacking Hope Not Hate's pantomime and say, because it's pointless. I'm going to uh, go forward in Kensington and Fairfield and empower the voters for change. Okay, thank you.